College in Tennessee, along with Greenville's Buddy Rose. Tonight's Cable Country guest is quite likely the pioneer of the five-string banjo players in Northeast Tennessee. Here's the story of a man who lets his fingers do the talking. He might be the area's baron of banjos. One of the Southeast slicker pickers. Still picking old traditional style of banjo. I thought I'd play guitar. That's, that's probably what inspired me the first time, you know. Goes back about 52, 1952. Uh, of course, there was no banjo pickers around. I learned on my own. There was no teachers at that time. And I had Earl Scruggs to listen to. That was all. Everybody listened to the Grand Ole Opry. And it, it really turned me on. <laughs> and it didn't take long for his audience to turn on to his twang. Some of the group needed banjo players, and they'd ask me to, to work with him. And work he did, with strum chums like the Tow River Valley Boys, Ray Birchfield's trio, the Tennessee Partners, and Gold Rush. For the last 15 years or so, he's been half of Miller and Moody. He's put out a banjo and bunch of albums and cassettes, and even played some shows with Ronnie Stoneman in Nashville. Some of the other noteworthy banjo buddies EC's picked with includes one of the premier pickers, Earl Scruggs. He's been a friend of mine for a long time. Uh, he would write me letters, I'd write him about banjos. Soon I asked him if he had a banjo for sale, and he said he had one he would sell. So. This is it. And he's been playing it ever since that day in 1963. He's also been teaching banjo for about that long, helping to string out the tradition and popularity of the five string. It's got the old mountain sound. The old Ralph Stanley, he kept his old mountain sound. It's still going good. Still going great. Everybody likes that banjo. Maybe probably better than do some of the other instruments like mandolin and fiddle. But you've got to have the banjo in the band to make it good grass. Well, that's what I think about. It's a tradition, you know, never gets old. And for EC, playing it never will either. He wants to keep on plucking. I hope I'm on for a while. I'll probably never lay it down again. In Cable Country, in Elizabethan, Tim Cable, News Channel 11. Quick quiz. You know what that's called at the end of the banjo when you play that little end piece? Dun, 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 a string. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Shaving a haircut. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. He's now I know. To, now you know. So a pretty time, impressive banjo player. Next time you're asked about it, you'll know. Okay. Oh, he's Shaving a haircut. Shaving a haircut. Okay. That's going to do it for News Channel 11, the 530 report. News Channel 11 at 6 up next. <laughs>